all excited. I, I said, Mom, Dad, come out, come see. My dad walks out and he says, now why in the hell you want to waste your money on something like that? When you, your second round pick, you got three or 400,000 bucks in a signing bonus in the uh, early 1990s. And I think your first contract was for 1.3 million over three or four years. What did you do uh, when you got your first big paycheck? Uh, who, who, who'd you blow some money on? Well, I didn't, I really didn't blow any money. Uh, the first thing that happened when I signed my contract, I got a $450,000 signing bonus. And I remember that as if it were an hour ago. And I remember it <laughs> so well because Bus Cook, my agent, great guy, very smart, uh, just keeps it real. He said, now, I want you to think about this very carefully. You don't have 450000 You have half of that. The other half is the government. So either you put it away now or have the team take out the half. That way, he said, I would recommend that because that way you, you never spend it and then get in a bind. So he said, from here on out, if you sign a $10 million contract, it's $5 million. If you sign a $20 million contract, it's $10 million. So you know, I was kind of like, wow. That was kind of because I had $125 in my checking account before. And, and that's, a, that's a true fact before I signed my first contract. Now, what I did is I did buy my, my first car. My mom and dad were school teachers in Mississippi. I can't tell you how many times I asked for a car. We had, they had four kids. And my dad, I'm not going to repeat what my dad said because it's bad language. But so when I got my first contract, I went and bought a, uh, uh, an Acura Legend and paid for it, wrote a check, didn't know how to write the check, had to have somebody there write the check for me. I, it was like 34000 for the car. So I drove it, bought it in Mobile, dr drove it back to my dad's house, all excited. I, I said, Mom, Dad, come out, come see. My dad walks out and he says, Now, why in the hell you want to waste your money on something like that? And uh, I was like, Okay. And uh, life went on. Uh, but you know, I rented in, in Atlanta the first year and uh, eventually bought a house in Green Bay at uh, two or three years in. But uh, I was fairly frugal. Your parents, you, they didn't want anything. They didn't ask for anything. You didn't you didn't you didn't have to buy them anything. No, the, the house we grew up in was fine. Uh, wasn't nothing fancy, but it, it was it was home. Um, I did buy my dad a truck at some point uh, in my career. Um, bought him plane tickets to come watch the play. Uh, would help out at home improvements. Uh, Hurricane Katrina came and wiped my our house away. Rebuilt in the same place. So uh, I helped uh, along the way, but it, you know I didn't go buy him a fancy house or. Now, my dad did want some cows, so I bought him some cows. <laughs> this simple, you know, it reminds me, yeah, I, it reminds me of again, I grew up with Jeff George, and uh, you know, his parents refused to move out of the house that that they raised their kids in. They had three boys, uh, and you know, forever. And Mr. George may still live there. The Judy George's mom passed away, but they had a very simple house with a very tiny pool in the backyard. You know, I, I couldn't imagine they paid more than, I couldn't imagine they paid more than $50,000 for that house and they refused to leave. And I, 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 I can remember <laughs> Jeff, I think had, they had some shag carpet inside their house. Did he, he finally got them to replace that. <laughs> but uh, uh, <laughs> it's it's 
Those are the guys that don't have family crawling into their pocket and asking for a lot of things and don't feel pressure. Those are the guys that survive and, and uh, you know, don't end up broke. And so it sounds like you, great parents, great. That, that, that's yeah. good. You bought an Acura, $34,000 Acura. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, and, and it, 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 hurt, it, it pained me to write that check for 34000 I was like, ah, oh, this is a, a lot of money, which it was. And it's still a lot of money today, in my opinion. Um, yep. But, you know, we were raised that way. Mom and dad didn't make very much money, I think, combined. They made $50,000. Um, and, and, that, and that's including my dad being the football coach. Uh, so I remember one night in, I, when I was a kid, they called me and my older brother, Scott, into the kitchen. And uh, they said, you want to see something? And we were like, yeah, sure. They held up a $100 bill. That was the first time I'd seen a $100 bill. And I thought, wow, we're rich. Like what you saw? Hit that like button, subscribe, and check out the full episode by clicking the link below.